Question five. So first thing that I've done here is I've just written down what's in the formulae book. Um, it tells me about Newton Rapson. So I've just looked it up. Newton Rapson, it's in the formula book. Okay, it's there. I've just written that down. Now, let's do some, some work with this. Okay, let's follow this through. So let's just think about what we've actually got here. So this just tells me that's to differentiate. So let's write out what we've got. Now this, it just refers to the next term in the sequence, okay? n plus one, n, right, that's all. So, um, so let's write this down. So I've got n plus one equals, right, I'm gonna take away. So function of x. So let's just write that down and it's equal to zero, okay? So it's all in the right form. So we've got two x cubed, squared minus one and I should really put the ends in there as well and all of that is quite simply over 6x squared where is this coming from this is the derivative of this okay and plus 2x and remember we should have those guys in there right so what we need to do now is we need to combine this into one Fraction. So maths trick, we're just going to multiply this by the denominator here, top and bottom. And then we end up with this. So I'm going to multiply this part, top and bottom, by 6x squared. x squared and plus 2x. And then we've got take away just what we had before. Let's just quickly write that in. There we are. And now it's all over one common denominator. So here we go. Ah, right, multiply this out. And we're going to have 6x cubed uh, plus 2x squared. And then take away. Now be careful. Lots of people make mistakes just here. All right, so it's going to be take away this plus this. Take away, uh, don't make a rookie error. Plus one, and let's see what it's over. It's over exactly what we had. Just uh, haven't done anything with that. Right, tidy up. What have we got? So I've got four x cubed, and then one x squared, and then plus one at the end. And that is what we were trying to get to. All right, that was the question, wasn't it? Trying to get to that. Okay, so now part B. Now part B says uh, use x1 to be 1, find x2, find x3. So here we go. Let's just quickly do it. So can have a look at part B. So if the first term is 1, so the second term, remember, so x2, so just sub it in, 4 times, now I always put them in brackets just in case I'm, I've got some negative there, don't want to make a negative error, it's just much easier if we do it like this, all I'm doing is I'm just following this through here, alright, I'm not doing anything else, like I said, try and, try and write it down as you go through, so we've got squared, and then we've got plus 2, one, work that out, that's three over four. If you do exactly the same for the third one, just put in three quarters into all of these, and if you use your calculator in the right way, get your calculator to do it for you, and you should come out with two thirds. Now, the last bit of the question says, explain why for this question, the newton rapson method um, cannot be used when x1 is equal to zero. Okay, so the best way to actually think about that is let's just consider what we've got. Let's actually imagine if you were to put x1 equals 0 into here, what would you get? Well, your denominator would be 0, wouldn't it? Okay, so you would have some number over 0. So we can't have that, all right? So that would lead to an error because you're trying to divide by 0. Right? It doesn't make sense. Um, 
In other words, what you cannot have is you can't have the uh, a derivative of our function being equal to zero. In other words, it's a it's a stationary point. Yeah, let's just pop that in there. Okay, it's going to be a stationary point at x equals zero. So it won't work. All right, there you go.